Well, I think that um, when research is being conducted on a particular legal point, the judges, practitioners, academics like to have a quick shall I say, entree into the judgment, a quick resume of the judgment so they know what it's about and whether it's worth uh, reading the whole thing uh, in order to help solve the particular legal problem uh, which, they're, which they're facing. Uh, Headnotes have always uh, had that role and have always been very popular with, with lawyers of uh, uh, all different descriptions. Uh, but I think that uh, headnotes are even more important now because judgments have become much longer than they used to be. Uh, and uh, uh, if you are uh, seeking to find the answer to a legal problem uh, rather quickly, uh, it's difficult to read a number of judgments of a hundred paragraphs or even a hundred pages uh, in order to come to a quick answer. You need a guide like the head note uh, to, to tell you whether it's actually uh, 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 going to be fruitful uh, to read uh, the entire judgment. And in uh, Hong Kong cases with the, with the head notes, we include paragraph references so you can see uh, in the head note which paragraph to refer to in uh, the judgment on a particular point. Because of course the reader uh, may only be interested in one or two of several uh, different issues covered in a particular judgment.